when I insert the value when I click on add the data will be stored in the database now in this video <coughs> once the data is added the table will get automatically populated let me see let me show you uh, type any country name And click on add once you add you will see alert comes up and a new data is added fine here I'm going to show you what are the two uses of the directory which is ng init and ng repeat fine let me show you the code Here I have added a new function which will fetch data from the table and that function is simply display table. What this function will do? This function will open the select.php. In the select.php we have retrieved all the details from the table country and the output is stored in the array and this output is echo echoed so that we can get the value in the display data function so the value will be retrieved from here with the data I have stored it in a variable called codes since this value is inside the controller this codes can be used in the HTML inside the div where our controller was so our controller starts over here and we can use the variable codes so with the help of ng repeat there is going to be many values in the table it is going to repeat until the data fully ends so id is the name of the column and the name is the name of the column since you can see the query displays a associative array and we have encoded the output fine this function will get executed in two places the first one when I click on add button the data gets executed so I have written inside the success of the function ng click and the second when the page or when the container of the controller loads so with the help of ng hyphen init you have to place the function and the function will retrieve the data from select.php and display it inside the table please note this table is inside the controller so the codes variable is shared across the script tag and the html tag that's all for this video. Get the source code in the description.